My name is Bernard Ashwanden and this video is provided by Publishing Smarter. It's going to show you how content's added to a Word document, the outline view, style application, how to build a table of contents, and then how to update that content. So here's a bunch of text. It's just being typed into the file right now so that I've got a starting point. It's all based on normal, very default appearance inside the Word environment. None of this is currently stylized in a way that's going to be useful in the outline view or to things like the table of contents. So I choose view, I change over to the outline view, and what you'll see is content that looks sort of like a bullet list. Everything was based on the same default style, so there's no structure that's being applied here. I'm going to close the outline view and switch back over to the more traditional writing view. And now apply heading ones, heading twos, and to do so, I click inside a heading, and I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut, Control alt and press the number 1. This applies the main heading, the heading 1, and then I do the same type of thing for heading 2. So I click in a location, press Control alt type the number 2. And I repeat that for a couple of the provinces, Control alt the number 2. And what I now have is a primary heading for Canada and subordinates for each of these provinces. Now if I change the view, back to the outline, you're going to see several changes. The most noticeable of them is going to be an indent to a lot of the content. The structure is implied because of the use of styles. Since I used my heading 1 and my heading 2, I now have a logic that's going to be followed. The outline view can be used for a bunch of different things, including writing and outlining information. So I click at the end, press enter, it adds in a paragraph, and I do a little more typing. Using the demote button, I can demote it one level below whatever the main heading above it is. So this is now a heading 3. I press enter, I type in another entry. These can also be reorganized in a couple of ways. One is to drag and drop, but if you're not comfortable with that, there's also buttons that allow you to move this information up or, or to move it down. I can also promote it up a level by heading so that it becomes a heading 2 instead of a heading 3. So I'm going to actually use the Promote button in order to unindent it, as it were, and make this into a Heading 2, or put it back as a Heading 3. Lots of different choices inside here, and this is good for organizing information. Back to my normal view, I'm going to add a little more text inside here. And just a couple of lines of content. Then back up to Canada. Because I used styles, I've used my heading 1s, I've used my heading 2s, I've used my heading 3s, I can add a table of contents as well. So in front of Canada is where I want to place this. I go in under my reference, table of contents, and I'm using one of the default styles that's included. It inserts the table of contents, automatically putting in all of my heading 1, heading 2, heading 3. Now, here I come along and I type in another province. But it's still normal text. This hasn't been set up as a heading 2. So that means that if I update my table of contents, you won't see any change. And there's a lot of ways that you can update the table of contents. Depends on what your preferences are and how your software is set up. One is to click here, and then to choose what you're going to update. So I'm going to update some of the information. I click OK. And no noticeable change inside the document. Because when I typed in the province information I used normal, I don't see anything inside the table of contents. If you prefer, though, you can also right mouse click and do an update on your table of contents. It brings up the same dialog, you have the same types of options, you click one, you click the other, whatever your preference is, and then you move on and click OK. Last way that I'm going to explore. If you want to do updates, you also do have the option to go through the ribbon. So I scroll up into the ribbon area in Windows 2007 and I'm going to click the Update Table button. Same dialog shows up, same choices. Make your decision, click OK. And notice, in no case does New Brunswick appear. And the reason that it doesn't appear is because it's just normal text. So that needs to be remedied. Right now, I go straight from Canada down into Quebec. So Quebec's the first subordinate entry here. I click inside the province. I use the same keyboard shortcut, Control-Alt-2, now, the style's been applied. That means that if I go back up to my table of contents, regardless of the method that I'm using, I can update the TOC in order to see the new information. So I do my right mouse click, or I go through the ribbon, or in this case, 
I click on the shortcut. When the dialog pops up, I update all portions of the table of contents so that it's going to include the new entry for New Brunswick. I make my selection, I click OK, and in the background you can see the table of contents changes, New Brunswick is added.